Greetings and salutations everybody and welcome to this tip video. Yes. Also, if you want to see a tutorial over this look, I'm going to leave links to that below. That is probably already up. My scheduling has gotten so off kilter. Anyways, today's video is a beauty tip video, especially for them busty girls. Your milkshakes do bring all the boys to the yard and they're like, it's better than yours. Boys to the yard and they're like, it's better than yours, damn right, it's better than yours. I can teach you, but you have to charge. You won't. <clears throat> okay. So what I'm going to be telling you for my fellow busty girls out there, my top five things we all need to do, okay? Okay. First of all, so let me tell you my cup size. I'm a 38D in regular bras, underwire supporting bras. I do not wear push-up bras because that would be up to my chest. And I am a double D in sports bras just for the fit and to make sure that these babies stay in place. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to tell you what kind of bra you shouldn't get. Lacy bralettes. Yes, I know they're cute. I love them. I wish I could wear them. I wish I could wear them so badly. Just wear them and throw on a tank top and be like, I'm cute. This is summer. It's effortless. But I can't with my pendulous spheres that are on my chest. These are blessing and a curse all at once. Anyways, but we cannot wear these. No matter how cute they are, no matter what size you get them in, there's no support. And if you have larger breasts, you need support for those babies because if you don't support them, gravity is going to take place and they're going to be down to your pelvis. And that's not cute. I'm going to tell you the one bra or the two bras first, but the one bra you need to wear every single day. The Vanishing Back Full Coverage Bra, and I got this at Soma. The one reason why I, well, first of all, I need to tell you to my fellow busty ladies. It can be one bra, kind of bras like this, not a sports bra. Well, you, I'll tell you about sports bras in a minute, but kind of bra like this could be one or two of them. But you need to invest in a nice bra that fits you. And a way to tell if a bra fits you is if your boobs don't bubble over. The straps, uh, you know how the back, it needs to be flat across the all the way around. It can't be here's the boob and here's the back where it buckles. It needs to be that way. It can't be like up here. That does not fit you. And this part right here needs to touch your sternum. It needs to touch your chest. That note, that way you know it covers the full circumference of your breast and it fits you perfectly. That's how you know a bra fits you well and you don't get those little... I highly encourage you to go to Soma. This is, I'm not branded or sponsored by them. I just really, really like that company because they really make sure that the bras fit you. I cannot go to Victoria's Secret. I can't. Every time when I've ever gone there and I've, fit, I've been fit for a bra, was way too small or it didn't look right you know of course I know the bras are so cute you, you can get cute bras you can get super cute bras at Soma you can like the cutest bras at Soma I love Soma bras because they fit me well and they're designed for a fuller cup breast they also have um, I believe they have multiple cup sizes as well that wouldn't that wouldn't make sense for them to be prejudiced against other boobs but <laughs> I highly encourage you because these women really care they know what a good feeling bra feels like they know what it can do to your self-esteem and they really take time no matter how long it takes to get the right bra for your cup size I chose full coverage because it makes me feel like these babies are in place I don't have to adjust my boob or bra throughout the day like if, if I get sweaty or hot I don't have to like lift my boob up to get some sort of circulation and adjust it like I don't have to do that like little dance you know <laughs> I don't with this and especially since it is a uh, seamless kind of a back where it covers the back so if the band is a little too tight I don't like bulge over you know so I love this bra it's my favorite bra that I own their bras are a little pricey they're compared price to um, Victoria's Secret but you need to invest in a good bra a good bra that you can take care of and when you wash your bras don't throw it in the wash they're delicate so you can either hand wash them or throw it in a delicates bag a bag that's designed to um, ensure that your uh, underwear or your bras that have um, 
this fabric that have underwire are being washed the way they need to be washed and that they're not being like and gonna be ruined when it's done so I get you get one of those instantly when you buy one of these bras so that's awesome but yes go to Soma they really make sure that your bra fits well this is my favorite bra and like I said it's um you get really, really cute bras that fit really, really well. This is a full coverage bra as well. I like full coverage bras because I feel, like I said, I feel like these babies are in place. They're not going to be bouncing around when I laugh. I'm not going to be worried that if I laugh, an areola is going to pop out. And, I mean, of course, I still have to hold my boobs going up and down the stairs. I mean, who, I experience that all the time. But, I mean, they're really nice, and this is really comfy. It's in a jersey material. It's, it's just go to Soma, check it out, try on a couple bras, Save up. They're not. They're a Victoria's Secret price, but it's you need to invest in a good bra. And every woman does, no matter what your cup size is. You need to invest in a good bra that can last you quite a while as long as you take care of it, and that fits you properly. A perfectly fitting bra can change the way you look at your body. You feel super sexy when you have a bra that fits you well. You're just like, I can conquer the world because my boobies are where they're supposed to be, up here. Except I'm not wearing a bra right now, so. I should have, that, that doesn't make sense that I'm not wearing a bra right now, oh my god. Okay, wait, let me go back to these bras. Once you have a bra that supports you, that's going to help keep your boobies up in place. Because once you don't wear a bra, that, uh, the not, like, natural elasticity of your breasts gets, like, overstretched because they're just, like, dangling and dangling, like, little balls. It's gross, but it's true. And once they're up here, like, where they're supposed to be on your chest, not down at your belly button that helps the skin become a little bit more malleable for it to be like, mm, they're here, not there, you know? Does that make sense? Okay, now for sports bras. We need our boobies to stay in place when we're doing any form of physical activity. Working out, playing sports, we need a sports bra. I do not recommend girls that wear multiple bras at once to keep their boobies in place. You just need to get a bra that's a cup bigger than your normal like sports bra size because that's going to give you the coverage and the non-movable you have itty bits of bitty bits you know right your boobs moving everywhere all the sports bra that I use I'm going to use here in like the next 10 minutes because I'm gonna go work out but I'm going to show you a bra that is not good you want a bra that's comfortable you want a bra that's going to keep your chest in place that's not going to give you insane cleavage unless you want like super great cleavage like go to each his own. Do what you want to do. But when I'm at the gym, I do not care what I look like. I'm not wearing makeup. I'm working out. I'm sweating. I'm doing what I want to do. I'm not doing that to impress anybody. I'm getting healthy. I'm, I mean, you can wear makeup all you want. You can wear push-up sports bras all you want. But, girl, I'm not. I'm Uncle Fester at the gym. I'm sweating. My back's sweating. I have massive boob sweat. I don't have any makeup on. I'm, like, red in the face. But, who cares anyways but let me tell you about bras this I hate the sports bra so much because one I got this when I was a C cup and a C cup no this is a D cup this is D cup yeah this is large do not get sports bras that go small medium large that's not good you need to go buy a bra or sports bra that goes by cup sizes that way you know it's true to size or not always but definitely go a cup above your normal sports bra size do not get those relaxed fit unless you have super perky boobs go right ahead but if you have larger breasts you need to get one that's incredibly supportive because you want these babies to stay in place you don't want them hurting like mm, like ow this is a horrible example for a sports bra because it gives me massive cleavage like literally like when they're pushed together, like, the cleavage goes, like, up here. And that hurts. And then I get massive, like, like, lie over, like, in my back. I get, like, huge back fat whenever I wear this. And it hurts my shoulders. You don't want a sports bra like this. And you don't want a sports bra that hurts to put on, you know. You want a sports bra that goes by cup sizes. Yay! A pretty bra! This is meant for chesty girls. I am a double D in this and it fits me beautifully. It is a full coverage sports bra. I got it from Target and I think it was like $20, maybe $22. And it's full support. It goes right up here. And if any cleavage I get, it's just a little baby butt crack. Just a little baby cle like little cleavage. I was about to say clitoris gross. That, of course, it's a racer bag. So it gives you even maximum support. But the one reason I really love it is that they has adjustable bands. For days you're just feeling gross or you just you want to make sure you have even more of a coverage or a hold to your boob. This is the best sports bra I've ever owned in my entire life. I need to go get more colors 
but you need to invest in a good sports bra that fits your cup size, that fits you, that makes sure your boobies are in place. Baby, you do not want them hitting your eye when you are doing jumping jacks. Who does jumping jacks anymore? I don't. <laughs> That's jumping gross. Okay, two tips already down. Third, moisturize, moisturize, moisturize your decollete. Once you moisturize, okay, women that are more mature, they definitely know to moisturize your neck and your decollete. But when we're younger, we don't think about, oh no, my boobs are going to be totally fine. I'm not going to have to moisturize them at all. You need to moisturize your full boob, your full chest, because that's going to help prevent wrinkles. That's going to make your boobies all pretty. You're going to have a beautiful chest when you're older when you moisturize. I cannot stress enough to moisturize. It makes it just really pretty. It's just to like, yes. <laughs> It makes your chest look very, very pretty, very, very wrinkle-free, and it helps keep the babies up, you know, because you're overstretching them when you don't, and that makes the skin look tired and old and gross and crepey, and we don't want crepey skin, you know, we want pretty, plump, moisturized skin. Next, decollete. Moisturize, moisturize, moisturize. Daily, nightly, okay? And in between. What was that? Three, four, work out your chest. I don't care if you don't work out, you can even just lie on your back and put weights right here and lift, lift, because that works your pecs. You need to work out to get your boobies perky, because like I said, ain't nobody want chesticles, okay? We want cute, oh, I actually have boobs, look at that, <laughs> or pecs. You're not going to get gross masculine breasts, you're going to get pretty feminine, perky, supple breasts when they're up here and where they're supposed to be, okay? You need to work out your chest. That's push-ups, that's lifting weights on your back, going up, that's pulling down, because that's also getting your shoulders, but it's also getting your pecs right here. Just lifting weights that help make your chest all cute. Your top five favorite tip, get your boobies checked. I'm too young to get a mammogram, unfortunately. I feel like the average age to get a mammogram is 40. For some reason, I don't know why we can't do it younger. I'm pretty sure we can do it younger. I'm just literally quoting my mom because she's, I love her anyways. Way to not go to the mammogram and check your own breasts. Lie down on your ground, braless, or you can even do it in the shower because for some reason the water in the liqu uh, liquid of the water uh, makes it easier for your breast because it absorbs moisture and it makes the skin a little bit more easier to work with or something. And you can... Um, literally go in circular motions around the nipple area and that helps you feel for bumps but the best way to do it is lie flat on your back braless on your floor and feel for lumps around your breasts if you feel some form of hard mass any form of mass that feels like it should not be there don't even like oh psh, psh, it's nothing it's probably a bruise no go get that checked out you never know you never know what it could be it could be uh, a weird um, twinge, like a, a muscle ache, but you don't know. It could be a cancerous mass, and we do not want that in our boobies, okay? So please go get your boobies checked out, breast cancer awareness, blah, 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 okay? I don't know why I say blah, 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 but go get, go get your boobies checked. If you guys like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, and if you want to see more material from me, go ahead and click that subscribe button. I really, really appreciate it, guys. If you have any questions about anything, about any kind of bra that I like, what things that I don't like, blah, 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 let me know. And also, if you want me to do like a, like a hashtag big, big boo problem video, that'd be a lot of fun to do as well, because there's a lot of problems with these. Like I said, blessing and a curse, okay? I'm going to go put this baby on. I'm going to go work out. I'll see you guys next video. Uh, good